it's recording. Wow. Nope, oh, gotta fix that light though. There we go. You can see my face now. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Original Riley, and welcome back to another random video. So today, topic is weird stories that I have about public transportation that I have experienced. One to make this, but I've been putting it off, and some. <laughs> I've gotten some interesting stories that have just occurred uh, to me lately, so I thought I would talk about it. So, story number one, there's a lot of, well, I should first say, the reason why I have so many stories is because I have to take a city bus to and from school every day, one bus in the morning, two buses in the afternoon, so that's a thing, and there's a lot of very weird people, especially since this bus station is in the capital. So, just putting that out there. Story number one, you see a lot of people smoking and yelling at each other and cursing. I mean, I do my fair share of cursing sometimes, but like, not like by myself, like screaming loud, very, very loud. <laughs> like, oh god. <laughs> There's a lot of screaming. It's very anxiety triggering, <laughs> at least for me sometimes. Uh, one story is where um, there was, I got, just got off one of my buses and I was getting onto my last bus that I had to take. And there were, there's a lot of pigeons at the bus station. Like a lot of pigeons. Like a lot of pigeons. <laughs> So you always see them roaming around, usually in like, well, I don't know, what is it called? I don't know what a group of birds is called. Either way, they were all crowded together, and they were roaming around, and there was a guy sitting, yelling at them to get away. He was like, get away from me! He was like, freaky out. And then he was like, but he was throwing potato chips at them. Like, he was like, get away from me! As he threw a bag of potato chips little crumbs at the pigeon. Now I'm thinking, what is this accomplishing? But then I'm like, he's probably very ill. Shouldn't make fun of him, but it was really funny. <laughs> and I was just really concerned. And I've almost gotten hit by many pigeons flying over me while I'm tying my shoe. That's a whole nother thing. But the biggest story that I wanted to talk about, because this happened quite recently, and it's just something I felt like I needed to talk about, and that I thought it would be funny, and that you guys would want to enjoy listening to. So, it was just a normal Thursday. It was my friend, uh, Rochelle and Diana, and we were getting off the bus. Shout out to you guys. You guys are cool. Thumbs up. Um, so we got off our bus, and we were waiting for our last bus that we needed to take. And my friend Rochelle was wearing these shoes that were like a teal color. And I, apparently, they've caught the interest of this a larger lady who looked like she may have mental issues. She was sitting, like, in the center where this seating area. She's just sitting there, her stuff, slumped over, sitting there, minding, we're all minding our own business. And then she calls us over. She's like, hey, you guys over there. She's like, hey, you. She's pointing to my friend Rochelle. And we're like... Are you talking to us? She's like, yeah, I'm talking to you. Come over here. We go over there, and she's like, where did you get those shoes from? And then Rochelle's just very confused. She's like, uh, she told her she didn't know where the place was, so we tried explaining it to her. She asked if we, she could get those shoes cheaper around here. And we're like, we don't know. We're like, we're very sorry, but we have to go wait for our bus. So we turn around, go to the bus. Now she's trying to talk to me. She's like, you. And I'm like, me? She's like, yeah, you. And I'm like, can I help you with something? And then she's like, brace yourselves. Is she pregnant? And I'm just sitting here like, excuse me? She's like, is you pregnant? I'm like, no. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, pretty damn sure. I think I know if I was pregnant. And she's like, you sure you sure? I'm like, I'm pretty damn sure. And then Rochelle and Diana are right beside me, and they're like, 
bitch just ask if you were pregnant? And I'm like, mm, I'm just sitting there like the awkward potato I am. I'm just like, ah, I'm sure I'm not pregnant. <laughs> she's like, how old are you? I'm like, 14. And she's like, oh, damn. Yeah, you too young to be pregnant. I'm like, yeah, I know. And we start walking away. And she's like, I didn't mean to disrespect you. She's like, but you look like you have a pouch. I'm like, do I look like some mother effing kangaroo over here? I'm like, I do not have a pouch. I'm a 14-year-old who has her virginity. Still, thank you, Lord Jesus. I am no nasty. I am 14-year-olds just shouldn't be having sex. But that's a whole other video topic that I'll have to get into. But I'm like, ah. and now I'm like very sensitive to when people like talk about body image and stuff. So then I just got really insecure. I'm like, do I look like I'm pregnant? Like, I didn't think that I've had body issues and stuff before, but I'm like, I never considered myself looking like a pregnant child. Like, that is preposterous. I'm like, uh. That's really the two things I wanted to talk about. I just had to get out there on, t on the internet. For everyone to listen and hear about, because I thought the story was crazy and only a few people knew about it. But now it's out for the internet to world, to bleh, for the internet to hear. So I hope you all enjoyed this random little video about bus stories. I've got plenty, so if you guys want to hear more public encounter videos, I don't know what to call this, then leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share it with your friends on the social medias. And I guess that's it. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. I hope you all are doing well. Check the caption box below. Okay, I love you. This is Original Riley signing out. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.